Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Feed and Grow Fish. And I just want to say thank you for the record on my new Great White Shark video. Well, actually not my new one, but my second Great White Shark video on my Feed and Grow Fish series. It's got 1.2 thousand views. And this is just the start of my channel. I only started it a month ago and that's really good. Anyway guys, today we're just doing a little clip. We're not playing us any fish or anything. Today we're just going to show you guys how to set a server and feed and grow fish in 2022. Because I saw someone doing this, I searched it up. Someone has already done this back in 2016. So I realized that if you're trying to do this, we need an update. So this is the video for you. Right, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. No really long intro. So. You see, you go in the main screen, up here, you press multiplayer. You see all these list servers and host server. You press host server. And you see all this, you could change the map. But I recommend Reef, you could do deathmatch. Um, you could change your password. And then you do start server. Click that. And like you see, your screen will be loading. You can't do the great map, just saying. You can only do the river, swamp, and the reef map. Anyway, so let me just... Okay, so it's loading up. Then it'll load your world. And then you see here, this is the server. You could change the price of any fish. Like you see here, you could... You could change... Like, max level is 10, if, you, if you're not on a server. The highest you could do that is 99. Or if you don't, it's just infinite. Anyway, so let me just put that on 50 here. And like you see, you could chain, you could allow this fish, this fish, that fish, the dory, goldfish. You could allow mantis shrimp, bongo, taisuki, tang fish. You could, you could just equip all of them. And basically, if, if you, if you see bots here, you want every fish to be equipped in your map you have to click on all this then you'll see all of this clicked which will be very very good anyway guys right so now we've got all this ticked you could change all the prices and stuff like great white shark we do if we do that come on oh, it's going to take a long time Anyway, we could you could put it down to free. You could put everything down to free, which is really good. You could this is the max and this is the minimum. So let's just put three barracudas, few of those, yeah. Okay, now you see this. Let me just now go crazy with the barracudas. Put loads and loads and loads in there. So basically, you could do you can mi you can muck you can muck around with this min and max and price. Then you go apply and restart once you've set up your server. So, and you see this. Server host has changed the rules. Ecosystem will be reset in. Then you see the seconds. Anyway, now ecosystem has been reset. If you know your server is set up, you'll see ping 1 up here. And here, under spectate, in between options, you will see server settings. And that will be good. Then you could go and fish select and you'll see all the fish that you've allowed into your game. And if this doesn't work for you, I don't really know why it isn't. And also that has to say, I think that has to say ping one. But if you don't have a strong computer, I do not recommend doing this. Or something like an old computer or something. If you have a good old computer and you actually know that this works, it's good. But... If your computer's very bad, I don't recommend using it on this because your computer will be will be powering up all of this. Yeah, it'll be powering up all of the fish that you've spawned in. And yeah, you'll see all your fish there. So let me just simply go to the Bebos. Then you see here, ecosystem has been reset. And you see here, because I didn't spawn many fish in, I spawned a lot of barracudas. There is a lot of barracudas in the map. And there you go. There you go, guys. So your server is now set up. 
and this will be good but you just have to set your server up very well and get it all d done if you're planning to do videos on feed and grow fish and you want to do stuff like this anyway right so uh, i hope this video helped you out if it did be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye